Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener, cleaner beauty. And today I am back with a review for the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. It has a tint. I have it in color sand. Gave it a shot and I'm gonna tell you all about it along with my final verdict. Stick around and let's get into it. All right, the quick rundown on this Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. Impeccable. The skin looks impeccable. It's $55. There are five shades available only right now. Not a lot. It claims to be a tinted moisturizer, sunscreen, and light foundation with an SPF of 30. Also claims to be good for all skin types. Provides a light to medium coverage and gives a luminous satin finish. I never really know what that means. Some people say that and it means matte. Some people say that and it means dewy. I listen. Words. It's also supposed to give you a flawless, smooth appearance. Lots of air quotes right now. Lots of air quotes. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and has non-nano zinc oxide. So, it's 15%, by the way, zinc oxide. All right, let's go down the scorecard and start with the first question, which is all about ingredients. How do they look? Really good. I have the full list and ratings below. Saw a whole bunch of ones on the EWG. I'm not saying it's the end-all be-all. It works for me, it might not work for your skin type. So check out the list and the ratings. Overall, for me, it was looking good. I had no major red flags. Okay, coverage. Does skin look like skin? In my humble opinion, maybe not so humble. In my opinion, yeah. This is some of the best coverage I've had in a tinted moisturizer thus far. Big statement. Huge. Huge. Pretty woman. Anybody? It provided very natural looking coverage. My skin looked like skin. Evened out any redness on my skin like a champ. Did not sit on top and it gave me a dewy finish. Now is that luminous satin finish? I don't know. You call it whatever you want to call it. I would say luminous, yes. Satin. That word freaks me out a little bit. I'm just gonna say luminous, dewy finish. I loved the coverage, five out of five on the scorecard. Okay, now does this last? Well, do you think that setting helped? I have combination skin. If you have oilier skin, I would say that setting is probably imperative. I would just, I think it might need to happen. It did a very good job. It held up for the majority of the day. Four out of five on the scorecard. Irritation, had no problems. There is a coconut oil derivative in here, so if you have issues with that, pass. But for me, it was a four out of five on the scorecard. About blending and building. I thought it blended very well on my skin. I had moisturizer underneath or an oil or whatever. Blends well with liquid foundation. Put it on and then powder on top. In terms of building, I did one layer and then another layer. If I'd have gone up a few more layers, I feel like I just would have looked like a grease slick. So it built two layers solid. They do recommend on the site that you put on a nickel size amount. I think that's way too much personally. I don't know, maybe that's for drier skin types or covering more surface area that they're not talking about. But for me, a pea size worked incredibly well. I think a little bit does go a long way here. Four out of five on the scorecard for that. Shade range, mm, five shades getting there. Three out of five on the scorecard. And then the last question, is this a consciously created product? Vegan and cruelty free, yes, fantastic. Other side of this, packaging. There is plastic here, there's a pump inside. Well, convenient and well, I can certainly understand that these types of packages preserve the actual formula. It's a pain in the butt for recycling. For the consumer, it's near to impossible for us to go, okay, I will dissect this and have it be recycled. No, I wish it was a little bit better in terms of packaging. Overall, got a three out of five on the scorecard. The final score here, a 23 out of 30, did a great job. It won me over on coverage. I love it. My final verdict, would I repurchase this? Yes is an investment at $55. Seems like an insane amount of money for a tinted moisturizer, but again, you can use small amounts of it and you can blend it with other products, make it last as long as possible. Oh, did I mention this has hyaluronic acid in it too, which is also plumping for the skin? It's good. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. That is all I have for the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. Huge fan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another review like this one. And let me know if you've tried this and what your thoughts were and what your skin type is. And also, I will stop karate chopping with this bottle in about five, four, three, two, I'm back. I'm reviewing everything in this sweatshirt from now on. I just like it, it's comfortable and it's cold right now. I need it.